Well, good morning, everybody. Live up front of Paycor Stadium, where the uh, Bengals Pro Shop is open and ready for you to get your jerseys and get your Bengals gear. And I'm sure a guy who uh, has plenty of Bengals gear, but there's always room for more, Bengal Jim. I, I imagine a section of your closet is just orange and black. Um. The whole, the whole closet is orange and black, you know. Where's your wife's clothes go? Yeah, she has another closet. Oh, it's all right, it's all right. <laughs> Bagel Jim's joining us here this morning. Okay, I want to talk about a couple things. Number one, the contract last night. As a lifelong Bengals fan, you started the tailgate with seven buddies and a cooler of beer and a charcoal grill. Now it's grown to thousands. What did that mean for you last night, the investment that the uh, Brown family have made uh, with Joe Burrow and this team? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy for the team, happy for the uh, Joe Burrow, and I'm happy for the city of Cincinnati. Yeah. The fans... We've been waiting a long time for this right. ride, and, and we're just beginning this. But uh, very exciting to see Joe Burrow get uh, inked to the long-term deal. And what was really cool last night or yesterday was Paul Brown's birthday. Yeah, Paul Brown's birthday. Joe Burrow gets the contract extension, and the Kansas City Chiefs lose. Mm -hmm. Bengals are half a game up for the AFC in AFC right now. So you're, you're, we're, you're already, we're, yeah. we're already we're ready planning ready forward ready. there. Uh, and I, I think, too, I, and you, hey, you've been here uh, long enough. I've been here long enough now that whenever the Bengals, we've had a little hope. There's always, wait a second, it's going gonna, it's gonna to drop. It's going to drop. I think the mindset now has changed over the last two and a half years, and I, I don't even think that anymore. Yeah, it's not the 1990s anymore. Yeah. This is a different, uh, diff completely different culture within this organization. Um, a team full of leaders and a mm -hmm. team full of great, great guys, man. So, yeah, yeah things have changed. <laughs> Zach Taylor, of course, leading the bunch. But, you, I mean, he's cha he changed the entire he changed the entire culture here. Okay, let's talk about the tailgates. Sure. Um, this weekend, you're going up to, uh, as a fan, no tailgate, but the tailgates start next week. And you guys uh, have partnered up with Cincinnati Parks. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, we basically, our, our tailgate lot in Lot E butts up against Smell Park. Okay. So this year we partnered with the uh, City of Cincinnati, Cincinnati City Park District, uh, where we're doing a combined tailgate. We get to expand into the park oh, now. Great. We're going to have uh, Skyline and Donato's and all those folks down in the park setting up. And we'll have our stage and music and everything else going, but very excited. Yeah, it's, 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 and it's a party atmosphere. You have, you have kids that come down, too. Yeah, it's I a mean, family-friendly family, it's yeah. a family -friendly atmosphere. Yeah. We're just bringing people together pregame, enjoying mm -hmm. ourselves before we go into the game. So nothing better. And you already said, uh, and because Bengals fans travel, you've already pre-sold a bunch of tickets to the tailgate down in Nashville. Nashville, over uh, less than a week, over 500 tickets sold to that tailgate. We rented out an entire um, parking lot down there. Arizona, same thing. They didn't even, haven't even posted in a couple days. 200 tickets sold out there. we got a big event in San Francisco the night before the game. Just going to be a – Bengal fans travel. They've traveled for years, but the last few years, I think, nationally, people starting yeah. to see this. And, and I think, too, you're finding people who maybe back in the day didn't really – they live in Arizona. They didn't fly the Bengal flag maybe right. too much or whatnot. Right. Now you're seeing when you go to these cities, they're joining you. Anywhere you go. I, I travel a lot across the country, even sometimes internationally. You're always you're always going to run into Bengal fans somewhere. This yeah. fan base um, is continuing to grow. Yeah, most definitely. And uh, if folks want to get tickets, they want to, you know, on some of those road games and whatnot, do you need to get a ticket for the ones that are no, local? No, the lo one local here. Um, we do have to pay for rental of that park. Yeah. We're asking for some help. We have some stuff on our social media platform. If people want to be involved. It's free to come to the tailgate. Uh, you can donate to help us offset some of the cost. Uh, that's what we look for people to do. But uh, you can find any of the tickets to the away games for the tailgates. But the tailgates here are, are, are free. Uh, yeah. Just Where do come you find those tickets at? Um, on our social media okay. platform, just like yeah. a Bengal Gems Before the War tailgate experience on any of the platforms, they'll, they'll be there for you. And for those of you who might just be brand new to all of this, uh, you guys have donated a lot back to charity and back to the community. Yeah, absolutely love. This platform, the social media platform and this tailgate, has how it's grown, has really provided us a platform to give back locally. Uh, last year, our group, our group works really hard around this, uh, not just me, it's a bunch of us. Yeah. $130,000 raised last year for local charities, uh, 26 different local charities. This year, we're already at 50. So this platform has really provided an opportunity for Bengal fans to give back. Last question, you ever get tired? Never. Never? Never. Just keep it going. Keep it going. Maybe a little frustrated once in a while. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. <laughs> it's good. Hey, Bengal Jim. Who day, buddy? Who day, buddy? Who day? Always a pleasure. We'll go back inside of you guys.